because that was a beat down. That was a beat down. VBs, guys, what's going on? What's going on? Look at this car. Look at this car. Yo, man, you better stay over there, man. All right. <laughs> King of the Baggers. Yes, the race is finished and over with. It was a great freaking race. I mean, that that race was, it was only eight laps, but it was a good race. At first, I thought maybe it's not going to be that good of a race. And, uh, you know, check it out. <laughs> because the practice run the day before, uh, O'Hare was just, like, dominating the field. I was like, dude. The Indian Challenger dude is ahead of these guys like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. What the heck? Like they're dominating. All right, so obviously it was a good race. Indian pulled out the dub. They caught the checkered first and third place. So SNS Challenger first place, Roland Sands third place, and Vance and Hines got second place with their 131 crate motor Harley Davidson so there was some stipulations for the Indian crew for the Challenger and I think it was just because it was uh, the Indian Challenger is an air-cooled overhead cam or air cooled liquid cooled overhead cam engine and the Harley motors, which were 12 of them, 12 Harley Davidsons against two Indian Challengers, uh, those are air-cooled pushrod motors. So the stipulation on the Indian Challengers was they, they, they couldn't build a big bore kit for that bike. They had to stick at 108 cubic inches. And Harley Davidson can go all the way up to 131 cubic inches, which that is their crate motor, 131 cubic inches. And it produces... I've been seeing 150, 156 horsepower, 156, yeah, and same, you know, around the same with torque. And the Indian, uh, from what I understand, SNS said they didn't quite get 150 horsepower, but they couldn't up their displacement. So what's interesting is, you know, 131 cubic inches is a significant difference when compared to 108 cubic inches, right? So the 131 is significantly bigger than the 108 cubic inch. Of course, I know a liquid cooled is always going to run better than a air cooled push rod motor. It's just, it's going to eventually put, uh, push out more horsepower. It is. It's just the nature of the beast. It can stay cooler to consistent temperature and build more power. It's just, it is what it is. And it's always going to be that way. Um, yeah, so the stipulation was crazy. And then on the Challenger, the Challenger only had, according to SNS race team, um, SNS created cams for it. So it had cams. Uh, they said they porn polished the heads. And they had a exhaust system, two into one, custom, and an air cleaner. And to put it all together, they're not saying that they specifically made the tuner, but uh, either SNS made the tuner or DinoJet made the tuner, uh, like a a power commander or something like that well maybe not power uh the uh, i forgot what that was called a vision power vision or something so it's a uh, flash tune so you can really really change the base map from zero to all the way to red line i really don't know what was done to the vance and heinz harley davidson nor do i know what was done really to the what was going on here sirens yeah so I don't know what was really done to the Roland Sands Challenger either it did look like it had exhaust and intake from Indian stage one um, I don't think it had cams and head work like SNS Frankie Garcia is a good racer and he came in third place 
Uh, fourth place was the turbocharged 200 horsepower Milwaukee 8 Road Glide. You know, so 200 horsepower could not defeat a Challenger. Not even one that wasn't uh, pumped up with big cams in it and so on and so forth. The Challenger is just an amazing bike. It is insane. I mean, Indian is killing it on like every front. Any race front, they're just killing it. Yo, this thing is loud. It's loud on the bike. <laughs> yeah, so Indian is just killing it, man, and racing the flat track domination. And now King of the Baggers. Yeah, so Harley's got some work to do, man. They gotta step up their game. Insanely step up their game, man. It's just that beat that it was a beatdown. That was so embarrassing for all those freaking Harley tuners. I don't know. Maybe I don't know, it's just me. I say it's embarrassing because okay, those who didn't race, uh, watch the race, let me let me just explain it. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm trying to figure out to edit this as I'm writing, like what am I gonna edit in and out and stuff like that. Because I said some stupid stuff back there. I'm probably going to edit all this out. But anyways, so the race, the Indian Challengers, they got the jump from the start. First and second place off the line. Got the jump. Killing it. Right from the start, killing it. The SNS Indian Challenger led for, uh, I think, four laps. Four laps? Fourth lap. There was eight laps. And then he went off the freaking track. No, three laps, I think. He led for three. Went off the track. And then caught back up. He went from third. And then he passed the other challenger, the Roland Sands challenger. Caught up to the first place. Vance and Hines 131 crate motor bike which was a 2020 electric glide standard. And then overtook that bad boy and still led for like a, la a one lap and a half to end it. Not only did he go off the track, he came back and took the checker flag in an Indian Challenger and just destroyed, I mean overtook it, destroyed. First and third podium. For Indian. If that doesn't let you know how bad the Challenger is, then you, my friend, I don't know. Something's wrong with you. If you can't see that, then you're just, I don't know. You're, you, I want to say something, but I'm not going to say it. Then you obviously don't know performance. Because that was a beatdown. That was a beatdown. The Indian Challenger is a solid chassis, just like a sport bike. So like GP, MotoGP Racing, those bikes, they got solid chassis. Their motors are mounted directly to the frame. The motor is part of the frame, so it is a solid piece frame. You know, and the Indian actually has like, well, I think a three piece frame, but it's all bolted together, which makes it one, and there's no rubber mounts like on a Harley Davidson. So the Harley Davidson frame, the, the engine, is rubber mounted to the frame which makes it uh, flex especially under load in a corner and during the race even though these harley davidson's had upgraded front suspension and rear suspension you could definitely see the uh the wobble from these harley davidson's because of the the uh the the engine that had the engines have rubber mounted the rubber mounted to the frame so that translates into the bike, which creates a type of wobble. And and you didn't see that in the in the Challenger. Oh, and <laughs> I forgot. Also, the, the 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 leading Challenger, the one that won it all, he didn't even have any back brakes from most of it. Oh, here I think he said it did kick in, and then he just didn't have any more rear brakes so it was only front brakes that's it only front brakes on this like i think they shed like 200 pounds or something like that and the challenger was not even the lightest bike out there at all it wasn't the lightest bike yet it destroyed because not because it just had the best rider because the vance and heinz rider that dude is legendary 
from what I understand, he is a legend. And they were battling it out just, you know, for a couple laps. And that, that battle made it uh, very, very interesting to watch. It was Harley versus Indian. And Indian, Indian won. They overtook him, man. Good job, Indian. Hashtag challenger beat down Harley. I don't know. <laughs> All the real, like, super, super Harley fanboys just went, Ah, my butt hurts! <laughs> Man, Harley really needs to step their game up bad. It's, you know, what really gets me is the displacement. We've all heard it. Anybody who, who really loves motorsports, muscle cars, especially muscle cars, there's no replacement for displacement that was couldn't be much further from the truth man 108 versus 131 and yeah it's a air-cooled push rod but man 131 cubic inches with a bunch of stuff changed there's no doubt that the Vance and Heinz Harley had like a, either a fueling or an SNS cam plate you know, set up because it's just far superior than the stock Harley stuff. But yet, this Indian Challenger was running Indian Challenger stuff, except for the cams and the ported heads. And the exhaust, you know, intake, whatever, tune. I mean, they're common stuff. I mean, the ported heads aren't very common, obviously. But they, that's what they did. And uh, it, it wrecked. It uh, cleaned up shop, man. It's just, uh, it was amazing. It was a great race. And uh, they're actually thinking about doing this all the time now. So it's going to be like a, you know, an annual thing. They're going to have a king of the baggers, which is awesome. So there might be other baggers involved. I don't know. It's probably just going to be like between class or whatever. But Harley's got to really step it up. They're, they're going to release a new motor. Actually, there's two motors. I might do a video on one. One that's it's another push rod motor, but it's configured differently from what they currently have. And we all know that they have a water-cooled engine up on deck, and it's going to be in their uh, custom cruiser, something or other. I think it's going to replace the Sportster, basically, and uh, their adventure bike. Oh, and they said now that they're going to keep on with the uh, street fighter bike woohoo yes yeah that's pretty much all i had to say i want to say a lot more but this uh video is already running long i can see that i've already been recording for like 27 minutes what the heck that's cool <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and cut it short if i might do a second video on this let me uh let me know guys what you think uh I think I might do a video on what Harley Davidson isn't doing and are what they are doing and what they should do. I don't know what they should do, but obviously they need to do something. They're losing in all fronts, man. <laughs> and I like Harley Davidson a lot. I mean, honestly, if I had the money, I would, I would own a Challenger and I'd own a Road Glide because those two bikes... I like those bikes a lot. I mean, quite honestly, if I had the money, I'd own an Indian and a Harley Davidson dealership, but I don't. <laughs> that would be great. I like motorcycles. I really, really like V-Twins. And specifically, I like V-Twins. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, ride what you ride, keep it V-Beast mode, and ride till the wheels fall off. This has been another random weekday video by your very own V-Beast. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, have a V-Beast day.